So many things in life are unpredictable, but the weather doesn't need to be completely unclear. Today, we're gonna to make a simple at-home barometer to help us take a glimpse into upcoming weather. Meteorology is the study of atmospheric conditions with a focus on forecasting upcoming weather. You might have heard of local weather people on your news station talking about weather systems, patterns, or hot and cold fronts. This is because the atmosphere is constantly shifting and so is the air pressure. If your local meteorologist ever seems stressed out, remember that they are under a lot of pressure. <laughs> air is made up of molecules. Even if we don't really feel it, it's always pushing on everything. We can use shifts in the air pressure, which is tied directly to the weather, to predict short-term changes. This allows us to see if today is going to be nice and sunny or rainy. Pretty handy when you're choosing an outfit for the day. Let's get set for today's experiment and then we'll take a look at how it all works. To make our barometer, you're going to need a straw, a pen or marker, tape, balloon, a rubber band, a ruler, cardstock, scissors, and a glass jar. We're going to start by taking our scissors and cutting the neck off of our balloon. Then, we're going to take our glass jar and we're going to stretch our balloon over the opening. Oh, we want it to be as tight as we can get it with no creases or wrinkles on the top. With our balloon stretched across the top of our jar, we're going to use a rubber band to just hold it in place. There we go. Nice and tight. So now, what we can do is take our straw and we're going to tape it to the top of the jar. It is very important that the very end of the straw is directly in the middle of the rubber stretched over the jar. This is gonna give you the best results with your barometer. So let's get a piece of tape. Line up our straw with the middle of the jar. And tape it in place. With our straw taped to our jar, that is our barometer. Now we need a scale to measure our readings against. To make our scale, we need to grab our cardstock. This is just a nice thick piece of paper. And we're gonna start by folding it right in half. So we're gonna fold it lengthwise vertically. This way it can stand up next to our jar. Just like that but we need to add marks using our ruler one half inch apart all along our piece of paper. So I've got my ruler and my paper, and I'm just going to do half inch marks. Place your jar and scale somewhere near home where the temperature doesn't change very much, away from windows or heating and cooling vents. If the air inside your jar changes temperature, it's going to affect the readings of your barometer. I'm going to put a little star at our medium point, which is this line right here. Then up above that, I'm going to put a little sun And down below it, I'm going to do some raindrops. I'm going to go place my barometer so I can observe the changes in air pressure and weather. Science! With our barometer and scale in place, we can use it to observe the upcoming weather. Air is constantly pushing on everything, including the rubber balloon and the trapped air. When the air pressure outside of the jar is more or less than the air pressure inside the jar, the straw will move up and down our scale. High atmospheric pressure means dry, sunny weather with clear skies. This pushes down on the rubber and the straw moves to the upper area of the scale. Low atmospheric pressure means cloudy, rainy weather is coming. The air inside the jar has higher pressure, pushes the rubber upward, and the straw moves down the scale. Grab a sweater or umbrella, a storm is brewing. 
we can use our observations to look into the short-term future of weather. This can tell us if today's a great day to ride a bike and explore, or stay in with a great book, or catching up on episodes of Clayton's Exploration Station. For more fun in the lab, subscribe to Clayton's Exploration Station on YouTube and social media. Or, for this and other experiments, you can check out our website, explorationstation.net. Keep an eye on the skies, and you stay curious out there, explorers. Clayton's Exploration Station.